If you've got a YouTube channel set up and you want to run Hangouts on air, um, the steps to doing that are to first go to your YouTube channel. So when you're in YouTube, if you're not on your channel, go ahead and click on my channel. Uh, to get the menu on the left, you can click on uh, the video manager there and you'll see live streaming. Um, go ahead and, and click on events. Um, this is where you can enable live streaming and it will ask you uh, what name you want to use on YouTube and, and here I'm going to use, um, I'll just use this because it's my test account. Uh, actually I'll use my, I'll use this, it's okay. And then I click on next. Obviously you probably won't have those choices unless you've named your YouTube name different than your uh, designated account name from your Google account. Um, at this point, it says uh, how you'll appear after updating, which is kind of uh, important because do you want it to say that the video was uploaded or shared by Test Student 9 or by Charlie Burns? Um, so if you want everything to be uniform, you just keep it the same. If not, when you set up your channel, you can always uh, have a different uh, name for that. So I'm going to click on update my name. And the account verification part is what's important because you have to verify your account. So um, to verify your account, uh, it says, how, how do we deliver the code? Um, let's just send a text message and I'll put in the phone number. No crank calling. <laughs> and now I should get a six digit code, which comes immediately, which is 245-340-245-340. Oops. and hit submit. Okay, now it says my account is verified and I can agree to the terms and conditions. At this point, I can go ahead and create a live event and I can go live now or I can set it for a different time, okay? And basically at this point, you set it up. Um, so I'll just do Hangout on Google small business and if I want to have it today I can if I want to have it at a later date I can do that as well I can add a start and an end time I can describe it I can add tags if you want to stream it if you want it to be private uh, you can do that if you want it to be unlisted you could do that you might be doing a recorded webinar with several other colleagues and you're going to record it on September 10th so you so they know that you're going to be inviting them to a Google Hangout and you'll run it then. Um, but then you may make it public later. So just think whatever option you choose, it doesn't have to be permanent. If you're doing it live on air and you want to have a live audience, uh, make sure that you select public. So it'll be that. Then you can create that event. Um, that's basically how you get started. And um, let me just go ahead and click on create event. And you can see that the event has been created. And if I wanted to start the Hangout, I could. I could click on Start Hangout on Air and put in my password and get the Hangout on Air going. So if you watched my previous video and you got to a point where you were kind of stymied, you might have clicked on Stream Now, um, which is a, a different link where you set up your encoding software. To use your Hangouts on Air, I just easily go to Events and run through the process I just explained. Thanks for watching.